Pavy Riders. Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing a quick test ride on the uh, a pretty uh, Touareg 660 at the uh, MCN Festival of Motorcycling. So, obviously, I own a Targon 100, which will be a good comparison, and a uh, a pretty to own a V4 so uh, all the switch gear is pretty familiar so it's going to be interesting so straight away what we like in terms of riding position very very nice nice upright Knees are a lovely little angle, and the bars are pretty much in the perfect position. All the switch gear is uh, the same as on my 2 0 no. The uh, TFT dash is a bit different, but uh, it's essentially the same shape from what I can tell. So, straight away, I can say that. Uh, Suspension feels really nice. Been under a few bumps. Without being jarred out of my seat. The seat is quite comfortable as well. The mirrors are good, I can see right out of them. I can see right out of them perfectly. Uh, wind protection is pretty good. Not been on any fast road yet, but. Uh, Oh yeah, this is really nice actually. No complaints uh, around those bends there, not roundabout. Yeah, from a handling point of view. This goes where you point it. Doesn't seem to be a quick shifter, annoyingly. That's a bit of an omission. I believe it's got all the usual traction control OBS. Not sure if they're lean sensitive. So as uh, as on my two owner, you've got uh, cruise control activated by this button there on the left. Push it to the left, hold it in, and it gets your cruise ready. Uh, wrong no. and press it again to hold that speed can't really use it at the moment though because I'm in a group ride and uh, as on D2O you know, what is really annoying is that when you disengage the cruise control that uh, the cruise icon still flashes green annoyingly why can it just go orange like on the on my tiger but uh, anyway it's a minor gripe. The fueling is lovely. Uh, so you've got a few different riding modes. You've got uh, urban, road. No. I'll show you in a minute. Sounds really nice actually. So to change uh, modes, there's that button on the uh, right hand side. Urban, off-road, individual and explore. So I've got no idea which is which. I'll just stuck it into explore. Actually, um, poker than I was expecting to be fair, considering it's only a 660. 
I mean only a 660 660 <laughs> seems crazy saying that but, uh, but yeah turn that cruise control off this annoying me yeah like in the engine gearbox uh, is absolutely fine as well Not agricultural, no clunkiness. Keep forgetting there's no quick shifter. <laughs> Obviously, you have to work the motor a bit harder being on a 660, but it's uh, plenty eager enough. I'll tell you what, on this dual carriageway, this screen is doing a fantastic job of deflecting the wind to my sides. The only thing I would say. I am getting a bit of a turbulence at the top at the top of my helmet. But it is adjustable and I think that's its lowest setting. Well, I think it's adjustable. I'll give you wrong. But it looks adjustable. Well actually maybe it isn't because the uh, indicators will be in the way. Scrap that. <laughs> but anyway, with a little a little wind deflector at the top this would be pretty perfect I think but even if I tuck in like this it's fine yeah this is a really nice place to be actually you could do some long distance on this I reckon the seat is really nice really plush as well okay no no vibrations through the bars or the pegs or through the seat you're high up as well but it's not a heavy bike so it didn't feel too intimidating at uh, when moving around Yeah, so far impressed. That engine sounds lovely when it's on song. Glorious. <laughs> As usual with a decent end can, that sound epic. Brakes feel really nice and progressive as well. Really good actually. Not eye popping, but uh, pretty standard for uh, this kind of bike and what just exactly what you need. I can't do too much brake testing because uh, there's a lot of bikes behind me, but uh, so you'll have to take my word for that. Yeah, so far. I am really impressed with this bike. In fact, I'd say I've actually enjoyed it more than I was expecting again. Another one of those bikes where I wasn't expecting much, but uh, it's surprising me. The looks are a bit uh, questionable. But uh, I don't mind, I don't think they're okay. They've got to be a bit more might, I think. So standard of pretty with all the uh, switches and uh, levers and pegs. 
they're okay, not uh, premium quality, but they're okay, and they did, did the job. <coughs> We like standing up on the pegs. Yeah, it feels natural actually. Don't do that, mate. Oh well. At least we can try a bit of a slow speed stuff. Bit of gravel there. Yeah, so coming to a stop. Not to be aware this is a very tall bike. But uh, it's not heavy. I'm just, I don't know what the uh, weight of it actually is, but it definitely doesn't feel heavy and it's easily manageable. I always mention it, but I've got a a bad right leg with a dodgy right knee so if a bike's too heavy I get very nervous thank you madam hello, hello puppy oh wow gorgeous concentrate on the road Bruce <laughs> yeah at low speeds this riding position makes this bike Superb to handle one. The uh, road ride height really helps you see over all the cars. Oh, something in there. They're just well, that's all the zeros. Right, looks like some fun coming up. I want a picture for that. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you know what, if there's one thing I'm uh, starting to love in the motorcycling is Italian bikes. <laughs> I've never worked out a bit. Well no, I just never really thought about it, but this has got soul. Definitely got soul. I mean, it sounds glorious on full track. This is uh, one of those bikes. One of those engines where you can really have fun exploiting the limits of it without getting into too much trouble. <laughs> if only that van wasn't here. Go away! <laughs> Handling-wise, this is sublime. Just goes where you want it to. Oh yeah! Proper brake test. Yep, as I said, nice and progressive, not eye popping. But perfect for this type of bike. It's so uh, it's so difficult being in 
Negative, to be honest. <laughs> I said the only negative I can find so far is that cruise control button and it is a tall bike Even then it's just niggles <laughs> It does pitch up when you accelerate uh, And there's a bit of thought dive but uh, you know, typical of an adventure bike I'll tell you what, it absolutely laps up these uh, hay roads It absolutely loves it These long sweepers Even the tighter stuff It goes where you point it Again this is going to be one of those perfect bikes for touring on you will easy, easily cope with all your luggage And when you get to your destination You can drink it all Explore the twisties or even Do some off-roading If you're braver than me <laughs> My uh I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, I absolutely love this bike <laughs> As you can probably gather How does it compare to the Targon 100? Um, that's going to be a difficult one uh, <laughs> uh, I'd probably put this more I suppose it's a competitor to the uh, Target 660, really, but uh, a more adventure focused Target 660. Well, I honestly don't know how I would rate this against my Target 900 because they're both very different bikes. And at the slow speeds, this bike is lovely. But yeah, I think fully loaded this bike might become a bit of a handful even though it's not heavy because of that seat height but uh, then again you can just practice leaning on your left or right foot leg I just found that one thing that could be annoying though, the, um, the full beam switch there As I went to put the clutch in there, I flicked it on, so That's again just a minor irritation One other niggle is the uh, handguards feel a bit cheap Again I'm clutching the straws here, just looking for things I don't like You can also get uh, Bluetooth connectivity on this But uh, I don't think it's going to be amazing from what I understand from what people are saying about the uh, 2 0 setup So not sure if I'd bother Although then again if I was touring on this then yeah maybe it could be handy I don't know The jury's out so I'm not going to be able to test it so let's enjoy this, uh, this last little bit Oh wow This is so confidence inspiring I'm amazed at how well this bike handles 
And that's how much confidence it gives you. How would I not say more of these bikes? They're, it's a brilliant bike. Rear brake is pretty good too. So there you go. That's going to be uh, the end of this little test ride by the looks of it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. I do all sorts of bike stuff on this channel. Bike reviews, kit reviews and uh, vegan bike life. Thanks for riding with your riders, see you on the next one.